Hello world, it's Lee Kelson coming to you live from Myriad 2018. Um, I just got here, wasn't here yesterday, uh, but I'm here with Gary Swanepoel from uh, the Sunshine Coast. How are you Gary? I'm well, how are you? I'm a bit tired mate, <laughs> it's been, it's been yeah, a big walk. Your arms must be flying back in. <laughs> <laughs> I flew all the way, yes, flapping <laughs> my arms. So, so Gary, we've met before up yes. on the Sunshine Coast, you're one of the, uh, I suppose, what we call you, an ecosystem um, yeah, I got my fingers in a few pies, definitely, yes. You have, and uh, you've got a co-working space up in, on the Sunshine Coast? Yep, up in Noosa, we've got a co-working space called Junction 2. Yep, okay. And um, I saw that recently you were running a young entrepreneur or young starters competition. Yep. Um, can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so, I mean, the, the challenges we face along the Sunshine Coast is uh, there's a lot of youth engagement that, that we need to work on. And, I mean, I'm, I'm part of a bigger group called Script, which is the Sunshine Coast Regional um, Innovation Program. And, and the, the aim is to basically invest in innovation. And so for us, especially in Noosa, a key part of investing in innovation is investing in young people. So we, rang a, a, we ran a startup pitch comp a while back. Um, we got a bunch of young people in, in Noosa to come together and we basically taught them how to validate their, their ideas and um, we had a big celebration of it really just to get them to understand what processes involved in getting your startup up and running and, and it's the first step for us to, to engage young people into this whole thing that Myriad's about right? yeah. you know which is the whole startup culture and the innovation culture and the, the entrepreneurial ecosystem um, you know without without having the young people coming through as the next generation then we, we, we're going to struggle with sustainability going forward. Yeah, yeah. Mm. C couldn't agree more. Um, and so the focus needs to be on the youth and bringing the, the building the entrepreneurial capability in that in that youth audience, right? Definitely. I mean, there, there are a lot of angles to, to building an entrepreneurial ecosystem. Um, networking is the key thing, but you do need to replenish that with with brighter ideas. And and we know that the the young kids, the millennials coming through, are the ones that are not hampered by you know like me. I'm, I'm getting old now, so I'm pretty much getting set in my ways. It's starting to yeah. I can feel it. But <laughs> yeah. you know, when you get the young guys that come through, they're excited and they they're not constrained by our everyday norms. And they're the ones that are going to be inventing the jobs of the future. So for us to be able to provide them with pathways, not only just finishing school, both business pathways and tertiary education pathways, if we can accelerate their, their growth into the business ecosystem, they're the ones that are going to help drive us through the next the next economy. Yeah. And I suppose that that goes to the point of diversification of the economy. I Definitely. mean, Sunshine Coast, big supporter of Beach City. Yep. Um, we love it up there. Obviously, Mac is based up there yep. as well. Um, but you know, one of our major sponsors is the Sunshine Coast Council and, yep. and Invest Sunshine Coast. Um, but the importance is diversifying the economy, Agreed. right? Yep. Yeah. Look, I, I couldn't agree more. I mean. The Sunshine Coast is so separated out, and it is we, we do operate in big distances between each other, but that doesn't mean we still can't connect and communicate. And, and the key thing about having a separation of space is that you need diversity in each of these areas because to be able to travel these distances, you create these, these silos. It is hard to keep connecting. So to create these micro-ecosystems where it doesn't matter where you are, you've got access to the right people and you've got access to the right groups and the networking, that's how we can galvanise our, our whole role as a community. Uh, because the Sunshine Coast is so big and so spread out, but I mean, why would you want to live anywhere else, you know? Why would you want to live anywhere else? I couldn't agree more. I mean, magnificent country, um, you know, the, the beaches, the hinterland, the mountains. I mean, we were up there for the VIP event on Wednesday yeah. um, out at uh, Falls Farm. Yeah. Uh, just yeah. just absolutely magnificent. Yeah. So tell me about Script. What's, what's Script all about? So Script is a program um, initiated by Advanced Queensland, um, supported by both Noosa Council and Sunshine Coast Council. Um, it's basically a fund that it helps, and it's also got match funding as well, to basically help build innovation in the Sunshine Coast. So there's quite a few programs that we're, that are being run and supported now. Um, a key part of it is being this concierge service where if you're looking to innovate your, your product or, or looking to, to network, then Script becomes the first tool you come into to help you connect with the rest of the industries right. um, and also get connected to the right industry. Depending on where you are, you know, there are some services better down at Zippy Downs or if you want to come up to Noosa or Maroochydore. Um, I mean, a lot's happening. So to be able to have access to quickly find out what's going on, um, that script program is going to help facilitate that process. Yeah. Okay, and so we were chatting off camera just about ecosystems, and there's a bit of cynicism about ecosystems, and um, and uh, you know people that are out there, um, there's a lot of froth and bubble, right? They're party popper time. Let's be yep. startups. But you were you know saying it's really time to we're at the pointy end. It's time to get on with it. No, um, it is, yeah. So what's your what's your take or your views on that? Look, I mean, this is my this is my second period, and 
I found this last year when you come to an event like this, it's great, you get all this exposure and, and I, the way I describe it is that my knowledge bubble just increases, but my experience bubble stays the same. So when I walk out of here, there's just this void now of emptiness. It's just, I, I now, there's so much more I need to know. So we get through this stage in the startup economy where everyone gets excited about getting a startup up and running, but at some point, you actually got to do it. It's hard graft. And it's hard. <laughs> and, and a lot of people don't understand a startup is not easy, you know. It, to, to go through the process, it's difficult. And the, the, the key thing that's going to help you through this process is, is your community. And if you don't have a good startup community around you or a support team, you're really going to struggle. And, and we know, especially running a co-working space, like the issues of isolation are, are really hampering to creativity and to production. So for us now, I think the Sunshine Coast has done a great job getting this movement happening. And so now it's time for action. And we live in this world where everything moves so quickly. Without these communities working together, we can't move fast. Yeah. And for you to succeed in this world, you need to be able to get out, get the job done, and actually start um, getting some wins. Yeah. So there's been an overriding theme over the last uh, week of, of Myriad around mm. go global yep. um, and, the, and the necessity for Australian companies. Yep. Typically, you know, we're a small market, yeah, yeah. Um, great for testing and validating yeah. products, but really when you're going to you know, um, go hard, mm. you need to go global. Yeah. Um, so, you know, give us your thoughts on that. So my thoughts is, yeah, go global, start local. Right. All right. So you got to start from somewhere and you've got to focus on your core group and get a solid foundation. So once you've got that ready, then you've got a launch pad to be able to explore more. Um, we know with the whole digital economy working the way it is, it is very easy now or easier now to connect very quickly to other areas in the world. So for you to be able to operate out of the Sunshine Coast and have this beautiful lifestyle, but be running a global company is actually quite easy now. Yeah. So what we're starting to see especially is that we're getting a lot of businesses starting to move to the Sunshine Coast to run their digital business because I mean it is a lot cheaper up here the lifestyles amazing especially the waves are good the waves are much better up here you don't have to have a wetsuit every every other day of the year you know? so yeah I, to be able to like I, I think people shouldn't feel hampered that they have to operate in their own local economy they can quite easily reach out to global to the global market um, like I said it's just having the right pathways the right community and diversity to be able to support you through that process yeah. Fantastic, Gary. I know you're doing awesome work up on the Sunshine Coast. It's always a pleasure to talk to you. Um, to you. If uh, if you're looking to get up onto the Sunshine Coast, uh, check Gary out. Comment uh, in our post, um, and we like to thank Everledger and of course Invest Sunshine Coast. Um, we've also got some other great sponsors: uh, Trip Hotels, uh, Vance Queensland, and Road Microphones. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, thank, Gary. Thank you to you all. <laughs> Cheers. Thank Jeez. you.